I think that, you know, in a world where customer data and metrics too are, are publicly available, new growth strategies will, will inevitably deployed, be deployed. So, you know, some examples is, you know, if you know how much your potential customers are paying your competitors for crypto native SaaS tools, you can try and to incentivize them away with discounted prices. Right. Like right now, there's so there's actually a huge lack of transparency in the B2B like tooling space within right. Web2 is like, all sorts of different companies are paying like, you know, their tool for their tools, like different contract amounts. And like, you don't really know like uh, right. how much each person is, is paying. And so that's a great like web two advantage, but you know, in the web three native context, like, you know, you'll be able to see, Hey, you know, these people are paying uptick this amount. We're going to, you know, try and incentivize them away with lower prices or whatever that looks like. Um, and then, you know, another way and another tactical way that you can use web, Web3 data is if you look at all your customers' past purchases, you can see all the different projects and communities that they're they're potentially a part of and create partnerships with those projects um, in a data-driven way that you might not have been able to do. Like you might not know that um, all of your um, you know, different players are playing um, what was the thing we were talking about before, Diablo Immortal or other Web3 yeah. games. Um, you might just have a, a mini community of those things and you might never know it until you look at the, the Web3 data. Um, and, you know, another two is like, you know, in a world in which uh, metrics are public, like we see this a lot on Dune and there will be certainly other others that come up in the future. Um, you can really benchmark your progress against the market um, in a way that you wouldn't be able to understand in, in Web3. Web to today of to be able to say like here's what you know monthly active users looks like on chain for all the gaming industry and now I know you know what whether I'm on track or not and I can go to my executives and say like hey we don't need to like go to Bloomberg to buy like all this fancy like data from all these different data companies we can just look on chain right. and say you know this is the the average for monthly active users and like this is how we're doing against that. 